Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about something that you touch with both of your hands very often. It's long, cylindrical, typically around six inches long, rubbery mountain bike grips, the best ones. Well, we have to start this video with Ergon. So there's a lot of grip brands out there, but for us, since the dawn of Worldwide Cyclery, the one brand that has sort of always been either the top selling grip or had multiple grips in our top 10 selling grips is Ergon. So right now, their current best selling grip for us is the GE1 Evo, and this is my personal favorite Ergon grip. Has some really unique features to it, just the way the contour is around where your thumb holds it and the way it sort of tapers up towards the bar end is really cool. So a lot of awesome colors, oil slick, is a little bit new for this year. We made a video all about Ergon's saddles and grips for 2020. So if you're interested in more detail about the company, the engineering, and all their other products, check that out. One grip that is trending right now from Ergon because it's new and it's probably gonna end up in the top selling grips soon enough here is the GD1 Evo. So this is a downhill enduro gravity specific grip. So a lot of texture to it to really just give you a precise grippy grip. It's cool because again, Ergon is always paying attention to details. So this grip, it does have a removable end cap. So when you're crashing, which you do on a downhill and enduro bike more often. You're slithering. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. You can replace those things and just gives more longevity to the grips if you crash the thing. So this is a trending new grip from Ergon GD1, so definitely check that out. Another notable mention that I can't not say when it comes to Ergon is the GA3s. So this grip has been around a long time and I've had so many friends and customers that have had hand and wrist pain try this out with the mini wing and it solved that problem for them. So it's a little bit controversial, it's not for everyone, but a lot of people have got this that have had hand or wrist pain and really enjoyed the cushioning and comfort there. So if you have that, definitely check out those. So that covers Ergon, but last but not least, the GA2, again, this has been uh, sort of a long time grip for Ergon that's been in our top 10 selling grips for a long time. So Ergon is more or less one of the brands that's dominated a lot of the positions in our top grips sort of historically so. But now we've got plenty of other brands to talk about as well. Next up, we have the PNW Loam Grips. PNW is a smaller brand out of the Pacific Northwest, run by a couple that are really cool, dedicated, passionate mountain bikers. And this is actually PNW's first grip, and it was a major, major hit for them. Really good rubber and um, just sort of design and texture and price point. 19 bucks for these things. We sell them free shipping like everything. So they really hit the nail on the head of something that's just like a really good quality grip for 19 bucks, and it's offered in a ton of really cool colors. Has a a tapered inner core so you kind of knock it on there so it feels really nice and sturdy um, seems to be really good at managing sweat the way the channels work and yeah this has just really become a very popular grip and it's really cool to see a small brand like PNW sort of come out of nowhere with uh, their very first grip and have it be such a wild success for them so yeah awesome there again check out the colors on these things we made a video about these and their bars and a little bit more history on their company so check that out if you're a little bit more interested in PNW if you don't already know them from their dropper posts I'm just looking at your face and you're like, now we've got the DMR Bikes Death Grip. This thing has gained a huge following. They're offered in a bunch of different cool colors, camouflage as well, two different durometers and thicknesses. Um, this grip was designed by Brendan Fairclaw. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Correct. He is an sort of iconic, epic mountain biker. You gotta follow his Instagram. Um, he's a professional World Cup racer and a free rider, and that's kind of why he got so famous, because he's just incredibly talented at all things mountain bikes and a really cool British dude. Um, he designed these grips with DMR, and they've definitely got a unique design that a lot of people have fallen in love with, and it's been cool to see these sort of, it's been cool to see like a pro rider design a grip with a brand like DMR and have it be such a success. But these have been out now for I think two or three years, and yeah, people absolutely love them. Good, simple grip, but got some unique features in terms of the waffle pattern on the bottom, um, the really sort of high diamond pattern, and then uh, sort of this like textured ribbing on the inside right there, and then just like cool little um, 
sort of little details hidden all over these things that make them really cool. And the camouflage colors are cool as well. So you've probably already heard of Death Grips. I think in terms of looking at comments, every time we talk about grips, there's always people just raving about, um, they're just sort of like diehard Death Grip fans. So yeah, check these ones out. Of course, ODI has made it into the video. They are a big, iconic grip company that's been around, I think, longer than I've been alive, actually. Uh, they make all their grips in the US, which is really cool. The Elite Pros are our best-selling ODI grip, and actually probably my personal favorite grip from ODI that I ride pretty often. And one thing I like about these, if I'm going to Whistler or just a bike park in general and I'm riding somewhere where there's a lot of braking bumps, the cushion that these have sort of underneath your metacarpals is really nice. It just helps prevent hand fatigue. And if, you know, it adds a little bit of bulk to the grip, but it's kind of like, it doesn't feel like a bulky grip to me, like some other grips do, but it doesn't feel like an ultra thin grip. It's kind of like perfect midline where it gives you enough cushion, but still doesn't feel bulky. So Elite Pros from ODI, um, some of my favorites and some just, you know, longtime favorites from the brand ODI. A brand you probably wouldn't expect to see in this video is SRAM, because when you hear that name, you think of drivetrains for the most part. But SRAM actually has a really popular foam lock-on grip. It is as basic and simple as it gets. It's basically got absolutely nothing, no design to it other than an embossed textured SRAM logo, um, black lock-on, removable end caps, $19 lock-on foam grip, I don't know, foam grips are your thing and $19 is your price point and you want something really nice, clean and simple, this is your guy. And for some reason, a lot of people really like these things. I don't know if I'd ever try them, but some people have like just a total love and passion for foam grips, so. If you do and you want a good lock on one, SRAM surprisingly makes a really good one that's really popular. Last but not least, we have the Knuckle Dusters from Deity. These guys make a bunch of cool grips. Uh, this one is our most popular one. Uh, fucking drunk. With a little bit of like good, no good, clean top. Damn it. Oh, for God's sake, pull yourself together, man. Last but not least, of course, we have some grips from Deity. Um, these are our top selling ones, the Knuckle Dusters. Nice sleek grip, nice simple top part. Um, good waffle pattern on the bottom, 32 millimeters in diameter. Um, really nice tacky rubber. Deity makes a bunch of cool stuff. They recently came out with a new grip called the Super Cush, which is like a really cushy, nice soft grip that they claim is the world's most comfortable grip. Anyways, we've written a lot of content on Deity grips because they make some unique designs and just cool stuff and have a big following as well in terms of a good grip and bar company. So check that out if you're curious. Um, there is a ton of cool grips out there on the market right now. All of the specs and details on these things in terms of diameters and lengths and color options and thickness options and all of that sort of stuff for all of these models uh, is going to be in a blog article link below in the video description. So check that out. Um, again, I know there's going to be a hundred comments saying, oh, you forgot these grips and these ones are totally the best. There are so many grips. Uh, it's really hard to choose from. We really wanted to go off of sort of what we're seeing most of our customers buying, loving and enjoying and our internal staff as well. And that's how we came up with this selection here. So I do still wanna hear, um, drop a comment below the video. Let me know your favorite grips. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>